They had no cure for Mary's illness yet, and she was deteriorating. Kevin wanted to know whether the other monks in the monasteries of the forests could be of any help, but Mark had seen many of them slaughtered. The only way was their mission. The trees that carried the medicine must be somewhere in old Barahat.
inside, a divine relic waited. Something more sinister will be appearing soon. Welcome, friend, the shopkeeper. Don't mind the occasional blood stain on the merchandise.
all steps were to be taken in the correct order.
In days gone by, the life of the desert folk depended on the trees. Now, the same pieces of wood were taking their lives. The Bergson wondered if Mary's cure could be found among the corrupted trunks and branches. The tree of prosperity is withered after twisting away from Rhea's will. Find the seed that the Bergsons were looking for. No time to waste. Mary was waiting. A sip of the potion was enough for Mary to open her eyes and for John to exhale with relief. Unbidden, pain shot up Mary's spine and filled her eyes. Something other than her illness. The baby was coming. It was time. The air was suddenly still. Mary's sickness had made them forget that the ravenous mountain god was after their baby. Curses! The black altar had 
come alive with an ominous will. Even Rhea's light couldn't keep it at bay, couldn't delay the evil of the sacrifice forced upon them. When John held her for the very first time, she was crying the song of life. Life was all that went through her father's mind. How he wished that he could give his own life instead of his baby's, but his life was worthless to the cruel god. Mary burst into tears. She feared that John was going to give up their baby to save the world, a world that at this moment was worth nothing at all to her. What chance did the Bergsons have against this monstrous cruelty of an immortal god? What a rotten fate that had doomed them to this destiny. How could John accept this heinous cycle of looming apocalypse and child sacrifice? His whole body shook from the conflict inside him. Every glance from his family was like a mortal wound to his heart. Would they let hope die this day? This could not be the end. No. Grandma had already sacrificed herself for them. There would be no more sacrifices. Together, they were going to break that cycle and defeat unjust fate and the look in their eyes became one of resolve for life, for hope. <laughs>